friends today are going to draw a ghost bunny. Yeah, and a carrot skeleton. We hope you're going to follow along. It's going to be a lot of fun. You need your art supplies. We're using a pencil first, and then we're using markers. But you can use whatever you have. You can just use a pencil if you want, or even a crayon. Yeah. All right, and what else do they need? Paper and something to color with. Yeah. You ready to start? Yes. Because we're using markers to draw and color with, we're also using marker paper to draw on. That helps make our markers last a lot longer. Okay, let's start with our markers, and we're gonna first draw our carrot skeleton's face, a funny face. Let's start by drawing the mouth. I'm gonna draw it right here, and you can actually change your mouth any way you want. I'm gonna draw it straight across, and then maybe a tongue sticking straight out like this. <laughs> you could draw your mouth open, or smiling more, or even scared if you wanted to. Yes, and then let's draw one eye on the left. I'm gonna draw a circle the same size on both sides. <laughs> and then we could draw a little circle for the highlight and then color in the big circle. And if we ever go too fast or you want extra time to add more details or change the face, what can our friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, for more time. There you go. Okay, now let's switch to our pencils. And we're using our pencils for this part so that we can draw the main shapes for our carrot. And it'll make a little bit more sense towards the end, but let's first start by drawing a circle. I'm gonna draw it this big, and you can press lightly so that it's easier to erase. But the nice thing about using a pencil too is that you can change the lines if you want and draw them differently. So now that I have my circle, it's got a lot of extra space over here and not very much space here. And I wanna draw it more balanced like you. So I could draw again, go back over and draw it differently. And then switch to the eraser and erase any extra lines you don't wanna keep. Now we're ready to draw the rest of our carrot. We're gonna draw a guide point. We're gonna go straight down the middle and draw it maybe about there. You could draw it taller if you want. I'm gonna actually draw mine a lot shorter. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a short carrot. Yeah, now let's draw the side of our carrot. We're gonna start on the side of the circle and we're gonna draw a curve that comes down to the point and we're gonna match that same curve on the other side and curve into the point. So I'm also not drawing a straight line for the side of the carrot, I'm curving it. Yeah. Nice, kind of looks like an ice cream cone. <laughs> yeah. Now we're ready to draw the ribs. Let's first draw two lines coming straight down. We're gonna draw them coming down to that same point right there. So I'm gonna draw it there and there. Nice. Now we're gonna draw the ribs going across. We're gonna draw two straight lines that go across for the top rib. And I think we'll just add three ribs on each side. So there's one, draw another line, yep. And then we're gonna leave a little space and we're gonna add two more lines. And then let's add one more rib. We'll leave a little more space and draw two more lines. Let's add one more line and we're gonna connect right at the bottom of the circle. Now let's switch to our eraser and we're gonna erase some of the guidelines. First, let's erase the bottom of the circle or the circle that's in the corners on each side. Yeah. Then let's erase straight down this middle part. So all the lines that go across the middle. Next, let's erase the two lines for the ribs. So the center part, but just where the ribs are. So right, yeah. Yes, you could just go all the way through the rib. And then we're going to skip a little space and then we're gonna erase through the next rib. And then we're gonna erase through the very bottom rib. And this part is kind of tricky. So if you want, you could also just leave the rib part off and just do a carrot that's not a skeleton. Oh if, yeah. <laughs> if you wanna make it easier. Okay, now we're gonna erase the outside shape of the carrot, but we wanna leave the lines where the ribs are. So now we're erasing uh, the space in between the ribs. So we're gonna do that here. And then we're gonna come down here and erase in between these ribs down at the bottom. And then at the very bottom, we can erase 
these two sides. So we should have this really, or this longer little piece sticking out at the very bottom. Now it looks like a carrot with a skeleton. Yeah. Now we're ready to switch back to our markers and we're gonna trace over the pencil lines, the guidelines that we just created. So I'm gonna first draw this letter U, upside down letter U for the top of the carrot. And then I'm gonna go down the left side first. So we'll go in, down, back out. And then we can keep going all the way down and just trace over the pencil line. Yeah, and then line straight down, there you go. And then we can do the same thing, repeat that same step for the right side. Let's switch back to our eraser one last time and erase any of the guidelines that you can still see. This part will speed up, so remember to pause the video if you need extra time. Now we can switch back to our marker and we gotta draw the top of our carrot, the green part. So I'm gonna draw a diagonal line that comes out and then I'm gonna draw a little bump. Looks like an upside down letter J. And then we can draw a bigger bump in the middle if we want. We could even add a few more little bumps. And then I'm gonna draw another upside down J to connect in to our carrot. There's our carrot skeleton. Now we're ready to draw our ghost bunny. Let's first draw the face, kind of like we did with the carrot. So let's draw the bunny's nose first. I'm gonna draw it right here. We'll start by drawing the letter V, kind of small. And I'm drawing it right at the top of the carrot. Then we can draw the top of our bunny's nose. Then let's draw the mouth. I'm gonna draw a curve coming out to the left and the same curve going out to the right. Then let's add little bunny teeth coming out of the mouth. I'm gonna draw a line down, over, back up. And we can also add a line right down the middle. Okay, let's also draw our bunny really happy. There goes bunny. <laughs> <laughs> and we could add a little tongue down at the bottom. And then let's color in the middle shape. Then let's draw our bunny's eyes. I'm gonna draw another circle on the left and the same size on the right. And then we, we could draw the little highlight in the top of each eye too to make the eyes look shiny. And color in the big circle. You could also add, yes, eyelashes, <laughs> of course. So I was gonna do. <laughs> now let's draw the ghost part of our bunny. I'm gonna draw an upside down U shape, or the letter U, and we can overlap behind the carrot. So I'm gonna start, yeah, maybe right here. We could go behind the little green part and they'll come up over and then I'm gonna curve down and stop maybe there. <laughs> <laughs> I like how wide your ghost bunny is. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, next time I draw mine, I'm gonna draw mine <laughs> as wide as yours. <laughs> then we can draw the bottom of the ghost. I'm gonna draw a wavy line that comes over here and connect to the carrot, but it might go inside of the ribs. And I'm gonna stop just right below this part. So imagine this coming down and that's where you'll stop. Yeah, right there, that's a good spot. And then we're gonna imagine it going down behind the carrot and going in between the ribs. Yes, that looks awesome. Okay, what's our ghost bunny missing? The ears. Yes, the ears. Okay, let's draw one ear folded down. So I'm gonna draw the ear coming up and we don't wanna to go too high because it's folded. And then we're gonna curve down so it looks like a check mark. Um. Upside down check. Yes, and then we're gonna curve around for the top of the ear that's folded. And then we're gonna start here and draw the other side of the ear coming back in. And we gotta draw the inside of the ear. So I'm gonna start here where the folded part ends and we'll draw a line coming down and then we can draw the other side right there. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, now let's draw the other ear and we gotta draw it taller than this one because this one's folded over. Oh yeah. So we'll go up higher and then we'll curve around and then come back in. Then let's draw that same shape, but smaller inside. We'll go up and around and down. 
We did it, Hadley. We finished drawing our ghost bunny and our carrot skeleton, except we still need to color it. Yes, my favorite part. We are going to fast forward, so remember to pause the video and take time to color your drawings. You ready to speed things up? Yep. Hadley, we did it. We finished drawing our ghost bunny and also our carrot skeleton, and it turned out awesome. Did you have fun? Yeah. I hope our art friends will pause the video and take time to color your drawings. We added even a little shadow down here, but you could add different things. Yeah, like bats. Yeah, bats. You could add ooh, pumpkins or maybe even more ghost bunnies, little baby ghost bunnies. Yeah. We used our Art for Kids hub markers. If you have the same set and want to use the same colors, we used a really light blue 182 for shading on the bunny. And what was the peak color that we used for the ears and the tongues? 121. Yeah. And then we also used... 23 orange for the carrot and 46 green for the top. Yeah. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing a ghost bunny. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.